Good everybody. I'm Liam Martin. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is giving an update on the city's response to the coronavirus. Let's listen in. The inclement weather, so um, I want to say that's why we moved inside today. I want to thank the press for being here today as well. Um, I hope everyone had a good and safe weekend. Uh, Easter was a different experience for me and I know for a lot of other people. Uh, it was difficult not to spend it in person with the family that you love and your extended family. Uh, but it was important that we still connected with each other and we connected to look out for each other by physical distancing. Easter and Passover are times of gratitude and I was thinking yesterday, part of my morning, about how grateful I am for all the folks that are in my life, including the staff here at City Hall, um, all of the healthcare workers, the first responders, our essential workers in food and transportation, our public employees, um, the folks at the supermarkets, grocery stores, um, many people work throughout the weekends. Um, so I want to thank you for, for your incredible service to our city, our state, and our country. Uh, this week is also National Public Safety Telecommunications Week, so I'd like to make a special thank you to our 911 call takers, dispatch workers, especially during this very critical time. And I want to thank everyone who practiced physical distancing and who wore a face mask covering uh, yesterday and over the holiday weekend and every day, quite honestly. I want you to know that these are sacrifices that we're making now uh, to make sure that we don't have too many more of these holidays separated by loved ones. The next two to three weeks are very critical to achieving our goal. The surge uh, I've been talking about is in motion now. As of yesterday, the state's conf confirmed cases were 25,475 cases of coronavirus and 756 deaths. Uh, that's up 3,100 uh, cases and 44 deaths since Friday. As of yesterday, we were at the city of Boston, 3,916 cases in Boston of residents of the city of Boston that tested positive for coronavirus. Our cases in Boston have more than doubled in the past seven days. 52% of all of our cases of coronavirus came between April 5th and April 12th. According to the new, some new models, the peak is projected to arrive closer to the end of April. We also had 14 more deaths over the weekend for a total of 58 residents of the city of Boston who have passed away. To every family who lost a loved one, our city is holding you in our hearts. We are sending our love and our prayers to you and your families and we'll continue to work around the clock to prevent any future loss of life from this terrible virus. Uh, that's what's at stake and that's what we're doing here. Um, I've seen and I've watched over the last couple of days certain federal leaders talk about reopening the economy after May 1st. Uh, that's not only unrealistic, that's completely irresponsible. We are still in the very beginning of this surge. We have to stay focused. We are working hard and quickly as we can to get prepared to, for the, to, to prevent further loss of life. Um, just a, another quick word on that is we all want to get back to work and we all want to go back to normal society. But this is not the time to talk about that. Certainly when we feel that the surge is, is past us and we, we begin to start to see the light at the other end of the tunnel, we will start to continue to move forward. Um, a good government would never stop their work as a, as a whole anyway. Uh, here at City Hall, even though we're on a skeleton crew, uh, many of our people are working doing the city's business from home. So restarting the city government shouldn't be that hard. Uh, we are going to be working with the businesses when the time comes, but right now is not the right time to have those conversations. Because what's important for us right now is making sure that we have the medical capacity to care for vulnerable people. 